This is not the SH Figure Arts Bulma from Dragon Ball. What's up everyone, thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host Dexter Raffalus and today we will be looking at a bootleg. That's right, this is a fake, this is a clone, this is a China clone, this is a KO, this is a knockoff, this is something you get at AliExpress. And I like to abuse these figures because they're so cheap, I got it for $15 shipped, it took a month to get to me. We're gonna see if it's good. And if it compares with the real deal, which I have right here, especially if you're missing, like, accessories and whatnot, let's see if they work with them. Uh, we're gonna compare with the real deal of the real deal SH figure arts, Bulma. So enough of me talking, let's go to the top cam, let's see what we're dealing with here. We're gonna look at paint and detail first, and then we're gonna move on to articulation scale and accessories next. So... Uh, and one of the main reasons why you would want to buy a clone is if you're missing accessories. Um, just recently, I lost one of the turtle shell straps from uh, Master Roshi. And I was like, well, I could 3D print one, but this gives me a chance to pick up the clone and see if it's worth it in terms of the accessories. And heck, you know what? If you missed your chance to pick up this figure or Master Roshi, then by all means, this might be good. But. I'm gonna be real with you guys, when it comes to Legend Creations, most of the time these figures aren't very good, but let's see if there's an exception here with this Bulma. So, let's go to the front cam, let's see what we're dealing with here, and so far, not bad at all, actually. Um, when it comes to the paint, obviously, it is not that good, uh, it seems like it's lacking a matte finish uh, on the skin tone and whatnot. But you know what? All the details are indeed there. Like the Bulma right here actually looks like it's well painted. You can see clearly that it does say Bulma. Hold on one second. Let's get it uh, out of the blur and into focus. And everything like that actually looks pretty decent. The face looks like Bulma. She's winking at you and stuff like that. It is not half bad. Not too many paint mishaps here. It looks like they, she's decently painted. Well, maybe not here. If you're expecting perfection also, you're paid you paid 15 bucks for this figure, come on. The original is worth like what, 40, 50, maybe even $60? So, you know, you can't expect the best. But you know what, this isn't turning out to be as bad as I thought. She's actually decently um, tight when it comes to the joints and she looks like Bulma. Is this a good figure? <laughs> No, this can't be a good figure. Hmm. All right, so joints are tight, nothing too loose. She isn't flippity floppity. She's actually quite decent in all the details, including the boots and the pants and the pockets and everything like that are pretty decent. I have to say so myself. If you missed out on the original Bulma, Adventure Begins, then, the, or no, that's not Adventure Begins. This is the first release SH Figure as Bulma, then you're, this is not half bad. But, of course, we got to compare her with the original. So here we go. Here is the original. Here is the fake. Clearly, the original, which is this one, has much more brighter, vibrant paint apps. If you're looking here, look at the original on the left there. As you can see, the brown is definitely much brighter. Uh, also, you can see some plastic fraying here on the clone. Uh, you don't see that on the original. Also, the original has a much better matte finish, which is something that you see a lot in the SH Figure Arts Premium line. And the, uh, let's see here, let's put her to the side so you can see what I'm talking about here. The Bulma on the, on the original looks much cleaner uh, when you see it on there, but this one, not so much. Also, the color on the Bulma is different. The original is orange, whereas the clone is brown. And let's look at the face. You know what? It wouldn't. It has to be proper. We got to put the right face on there. So let's put the happy face here. Actually, is there even a happy face? Hold on one second here, guys. Here is a big one. Hold on one second. Let's put this together. I'll show you what I mean. So, yeah, uh, hmm. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. 
So here's Bulma's face. The one on the left, which is the real deal, much bigger mouth, much more detailed also. The one on the right, yikes. <laughs> uh, the face is smaller. There's no matte finish. The mouth is just... It, I thought those were lips at first. But no, that is indeed the same face. Also, for some reason, the clone is a little bit more tan, where the real one is a little bit more pale. So, yeah, I have to say, when it comes to these two faces, the real one just blows it out of the water, whereas the fake one, not so much. It does not look as good, I have to say so myself. So, there you go. Uh, one more thing I have to point out in the real one versus the fake. Let's look at the paint apps back here when it comes to that strap right there. Let's see if we can focus up. Hold on one second. So as you can see right here, it looks like they're just missing It's some paint apps right here. Whereas this one looks more complete, like they actually painted the green strap. This one they just painted the front. You can actually see the white bleeding into the uh, straps right there. So yeah, I mean, it's not bad. The fake isn't awful, especially for the price that I paid, $15. It's not that bad now let's move on to articulation and scale i have found my ruler we're not going to use calipers today we're looking at a five inch figure whereas the real one is also five inches tall so that's really cool so if you're thinking did they scale her down and the fake no they did not fail her uh scale her down and the fake so we've got to compare it to other action figures here is the demoniacal fit goku right there which scales really well with, um, what do you call it? Scales really well with other SH figure arts, real deal SH figure arts, and we have a Figma Deku right there. As you can see, she scales decently well as well. And we have a Mafex Spider-Man right here. And that's how he scales with her. And let's see if we can get a Dragon Ball and a Marvel Legends. One second, please. So here is Jackie Chun. As you can see right here, from the Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts line, so she looks like she de she scales really well. And we have a Marvel Legends Captain America, so that's it when it comes to scale. Now let's talk about articulation. Hopefully this girl doesn't break apart. We have an up and... No, she doesn't have an up and down at the toe. Does the real one have an up and down at the toe? No, she does not. Okay, so that's, that's fair. Up and down here at the ankle. No double joint knee. Does the real one have a double joint? No, the real one doesn't have a double joint knee either. We have ball joints here at the crotch, just like the real deal. We have two articulation points right here in the midsection. We have a regular ball joint right here in the shoulder with a bicep swivel. We have a single joint right here at the elbow, and then ball and peg here, and then one single neck joint under 20 points of articulation. Let's do a quick compare here. And yeah, she does indeed have all the same articulation points as the real deal. So I have to say, I'm going to say it before the conclusion, this is starting to look like a decent action figure for the price. Now, let's go to the top cam. Let's look, let's move aside all these other action figures. Let's look at the accessories here. We get the dragon radar, we get an assortment of hands, and a really bad looking dragon ball with a bubble inside it and we get her goggles here. So, uh, let's go to the front cam. Let me show you something right here. I'm gonna put the goggles on. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Uh, so the joint did not pull out correctly. Uh-oh, hold on. Hold up. This is what happened when I tried to pull the head off. This joint is extremely tight and it just popped off. I did manage to put it back in. There's no issue there. Whew, thank goodness. Um, so yeah, we got the goggles on and it looks like they are scaled smaller this time around. I'm gonna show you what I mean in just a second. Let me put this face back one sec. So there you have it. The goggles do not look that good in comparison to the real deal and the fake, it's painted not as good and it's also Looks like it is not scaled the same, but you know what? If you're missing the goggles and you want to just put them on, yeah, it would work. Let's be real, it would work. No one would really notice if it was fake or not. Now, let's look here. This is the Uzi. <laughs> uh, it is not painted well. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and the stock is really bent up. Yikes. Is that really what it's supposed to look like? I don't think so. Yeah, this, this is a fail. This is a big fail. Huge fail. Yeah, this is not good. As you can see, the stock should be straight, not bent like this. What the heck's going on here? This is garbage. Dude, oh my gosh. They really failed on that one. Uh, and another part where they failed is, so, uh, let's see here. See if we can zoom in. Uh, the Dragon Ball, you can hardly see the star, and there is a bubble in there. Yeah, that's also a fail. And let's look here. At least the Dragon Radar looks pretty decent. There's no blips on the Dragon Radar. Uh, so at least we can see if this works. So let's uh, let's plug this in real quick. Um, give me one minute as I put this on her. Okay, so there you have it right there. Um, she is holding the Dragon Radar, and that's not half bad. Kind of doesn't want to stick in her hand. Um, I think the the socket is a little bit too small. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not staying. All right, let's just come up with a conclusion of this figure. Oh, before we do, let's put on the winky face. I know we've been mostly looking at her happy face, so let's get this winky face going. There it is, right there. So let's come with a conclusion of the fake SH Figure Arts KO knockoff China clone AliExpress special of the SH Figure Arts Bulma. Is this worth 20 bucks? And I have to say, yes, this is not bad. Uh, you can put this, as I like to call it, the back shelf action figure. And when I say that, that's like, let's say you're putting up your display and you, you have all these awesome figures, they look great, but you know what, you couldn't find Bulma. You stick her in the very back of the shelf so no one notices that it's a fake. <laughs> Especially when you have an Uzi with a bent stock, come on. Um, yeah, that's really what mostly the, the good fakes, if you get a good fake, um, that's what you would use it for. When it comes to paint detail, it's okay. It's not bad. This is probably something you might want to practice your airbrushing skills on to make sure she looks better. Uh, I mean, it's $15. You can't beat that price. But if you have the real deal, <laughs> yeah, obviously, why would you even bother with this? <laughs> it does have its issues, okay? The face is not very good uh, when it comes to the this one. When it comes to this one, this does not look like the real deal at all. And I, like I said before, the Uzi is really bad. The Dragon Ball can't even see the star. I can't even fit the Dragon Radar in the hand. doesn't fit well. Um, that's about it. I, I think that's those are the negatives. So obviously, when it comes to clones, there's always going to be negatives. But hey, you know what the big positive is about a clone? You're not paying full price for it. So that's my take on this figure. Thank you for thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, if you're looking for 100% real deal, authentic action figures that aren't fake like this one, you can go to www.newstartoys.com. Your reliable source for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.